never start doing heroin, never do heroin, never touch heroin. I was with a certain guy for years and I wasn't genuinely happy. It definitely gave me a lot more confidence and I think a bit more direction with my life. Going back to my home country for someone whom I loved and then I regret that now. My biggest regret is probably lack of consistency. Hi guys, Dr. and DJ Vajalia here. Today I am in public asking people some of the hardest questions. The answers, things that we can all learn from. Let's get right into it. What's the best decision you've ever made? Going on sertraline. Tell me why. Um, so I had an abortion actually, it's quite deep, uh, a few years ago. And it sent me all loopy. Um, I just was suffering so badly and then I had to um, go on sertraline and it was the best thing I did because it took me out of a really bad hole. Before you took the antidepressant, how were you feeling? I was feeling like, awful. I just had no motivation to do anything. And no matter what I did, I was just always sad, uh, upset. I just, I, I, I was, I, you couldn't get me out of bed. I, I, it was the worst time of my life. What is the best decision you have ever made? When I chose her to be my partner. Like, you chose her? Yeah, yeah. You got to choose him as well? I did, yeah. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. What's the best decision you've ever made? Having a child with him. Oh, you guys are the sweetest. <laughs> I don't think I've made any good decision. <laughs> Going to see the World Cup when England played. Best decision I made? Probably not care about school. Best decision I made. Why is that? That's a bit controversial. Because everyone's stressed about school, thinking it's important. But like at the end of the day, everyone needs money and everyone can have find different ways of getting money. And school just restricts you. And Everyone thinks that you just need to be good in school to do good in life, which isn't true. Uh, to believe in myself. And how did that change your life? Uh, it sent me around the country busking, entering championships, uh, landing gigs all around the country, getting into university without grades. Do you know what I mean? So, like, believing in yourself is a powerful thing. Mine was to change my career in my 40s from being a secretary to going into nursing. Probably starting my own business. I set up a, a company about nine years ago. I've got five companies now. Um, I've got three, sorry, two business partners and then we own five companies between us. But it definitely gave me a lot more confidence and I think a bit more direction with my life. When I say direction, it wasn't I'm trying to follow the same rat race as everyone else. Yeah. I kind of have, I'm in a position where I can make my own decisions and... Yeah. Some are good, some are bad, but it is rewarding when they're good and I think you become a lot more resilient when they're bad, which also helps with other parts of my life. Going to uni, probably. Yeah. Why is that? I feel like you learn a lot, especially financial management. <laughs> you're broke within, as soon as you get your maintenance loan, you spend it, yeah, you're broke. it's money, isn't it? It's finance, managing your finance, where if you're fresh as week, everyone's blowing it out in the first week and then they're like crying because they need a job. Your priorities yeah. are set straight. Well, it's a decision I'm going to make, I think. I'm, yeah. go, I'm going traveling to Australia um, after yeah. Christmas 28th, so... Why yeah, is that? Why I, is that? I just feel like I'm 25, turning 26, yeah. and I sort of need to... <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> nice uh, sneeze there. Uh, yeah, just need to go and do my own thing, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, to not go to university. Tell me more. It's, it's boring. I wanted to actually get out and have a real job, and work, yeah. and not spend my life at a university. Okay. That's How about you? going to university <laughs> the complete opposite yeah, I just really enjoy it like built my confidence quite a bit yeah. um, and like, I like I'm I look I'm someone that loves learning so yeah I just really enjoy it it's interesting because I can see it from both sides like if you don't go to university you have more years to get on like a career ladder if you do go to university there's experiences you can get that you wouldn't otherwise get as always if you guys are enjoying the video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more and drop a comment below let me know what you're thinking and what you'd like to see more of what's your biggest regret um going back to my home country for someone whom I loved and then I regret that now Tell me more. That's my girlfriend, basically, and my ex-girlfriend, yeah. So a lot of things happened and then we are not together now. The time and everything which I invested, like, went for a waste. That's that. You say it was a waste, yeah. but what did you learn from that experience? Learn that, uh, live for yourself, not for someone else. Yeah. Um, do something on your own, for your own, and not for that person. Because later on, you'll regret that you gave a lot of time, your energy and everything there, and then you have nothing in return. But if you don't put everything into it, how would you ever know? Exactly, even that's there. But then you get to know it later that how much of time you have invested, you haven't received that much back. 
I honestly don't know. There's, there's so many regrets I've got. There's so many bad decisions I've made, but I don't. There's not one thing that stands out as ah, oh, you know. I I wish I'd done this. I wish I'd done that. Um, not at this exact moment in time, anyway. I think there's a lot going on. I kind of regret going to uni actually, because. I just feel like it was a bit of a waste of time, um, and I sort of got pushed into it by my parents a little bit. Yeah. But what would you have done differently then? Um, well, that's the thing. Yeah, I'm not not too sure. Maybe yeah. just worked and yeah, yeah, just got yeah more money. But well, there's a good like argument that you could use those years to build a career, build yeah, a life, yeah. or a business, or be years ahead like in whatever career yeah, you want to yeah. do, rather than wasting if that's what happened. I wish I went to uni earlier. Why is that? To get my career earlier. Okay. How about you? Yeah. <laughs> I would say I wish I knew her earlier. <laughs> <laughs> He's a charmer, he is. <laughs> What's your biggest regret? Biggest regret? Probably caring too much about school or like too, caring too much about little things. That's a big regret. Can you give us an example? No, I lost money or something and I just sit there and just have a bad day the rest of the day mm. instead of just moving on quick time. So something like that, small things. She's not doing nursing from the beginning of my career. I'm not believing in myself harder because there's times like it fluctuates. It's hard to stay consistent. So my biggest regret is probably lack of consistency. Yeah. Is there anything in your life you wish, wish you would have done differently? Nah. Anything specific? Nah. That's um, who I am today because of everything that's happened. Yeah. And then taking that question to the other side, what is your biggest regret? Oh my God. Um, oh, um, maybe not listening to, to my gut in things, because I think your gut's always right yeah. in a lot of different situations. What about a specific thing that you've done or you wish you did differently? I can say, I've got one, but I can't say it. I can't say it out because I know he's going to watch this. If you could give your younger self okay. one piece of advice, what would it be? Uh, focus more on yourself and not on others. And how do you focus on yourself? Uh, by doing whatever you like. So basically, my thing was like, if others are happy, I would be happy. But then one thing I realized is like, if you're happy, that means that everything. If you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would it be? Bro, be confident. Like, be like, you know what I'm saying? Young yourself, never start doing heroin. Never do heroin, never touch heroin. Why did you first get into heroin? Because I ended up harmless on the street. And uh, that was, yeah, just 16. And, she, and then before that, uh, my doctor prescribed me methadone for depression. Give me 90 mils today, I was 16 years of age. And I ended up getting to the chemist to pick it up. The other lads who was on heroin thought that I was on the gig because I was taking methadone. And I ended up hanging about with them and I ended up getting in trouble. And that's where my wife was ruined by. If I could tell myself, I'd just say listen to your listen to your elders. Say yes to everything. No, live your life. We'd ask each other this question. Stop eating so much chocolate. Like, just stop. <laughs> just stop eating junk food. That is... Yeah. Why is that? I was it a fat kid. Habits, <laughs> yeah, you well, then how does junk food and like, chocolate make you feel? Bad habits because now you're like, you kind of like, you lead it on to like adult life and you, you try and do better and you say you're doing these diets but you're like it's still that kind of comfort of oh I want this do not speak to that one specific boy <laughs> I think you're hung up on a boy no I'm not that's... and you're in a relationship I'm in a relationship now but you're still hung up about another boy no I'm really no I'm not she's not don't put that in <laughs> what would be one piece of advice that you would give to your younger self don't settle at the age of 70 don't settle for less than what you think you deserve 100%. What experience is that based upon? Relationship. Tell me more. Um, I, was with a certain, I was with a certain guy for years and I wasn't genuinely happy. I should have listened to my gut early on. I didn't and I uh, wasted a lot of time to be fair. Still really good friend, still a great guy but yeah. it wasn't for me 100%. I'll just say um, eat good food and don't smoke. Healthy body, healthy mind. Especially weed, don't smoke. Why? Do you smoke weed? No, then back in the day yeah. why did you stop because my head twice like i have to stop um never repeat the mistake what mistake so like for example like if you know there's one thing that will let you down once don't do that again just walk away from it like even if like you have people like pushing you like you have bad friends and stuff making you do something like drugs or vape or whatever just don't do it you know what i mean like yeah learn from your mistakes always ask for help Always don't think you're too strong, too good, you know, don't put yourself on a pedestal. Um, 
you know, there's nothing wrong with wearing your heart on your sleeve. There's a lot of people out there that care about you, like you and want to help you. Even if you think you're more than capable of helping yourself, you're not. It's yeah. better to, you know, problem shared is a problem halved, I suppose. Yeah. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure you let me know below in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very soon.